They kicked him out of a library, so he became an astronaut. At just nine years old, Ronald McNair was denied a library card because of segregation. So he sat and waited until the police and his mother showed up and the librarian reluctantly gave him the books. That little black boy went on to earn a PhD in physics from MIT. He became a master of laser science, a fifth degree black belt in karate. And in 1984, he became the second African-American in space. Ronald McNair was brilliance, discipline and defiance in motion. But on January 28, 1986, during his second mission aboard the Challenger, just 73 seconds after launch, the shuttle exploded. He was only 35. He was supposed to be the first person to record a saxophone solo in space. Instead, the final track was renamed Ron's Piece, a tribute to a genius who never got to play it. They once told him books weren't for him. Today, that same library has his name on the front. Ronald E. McNair didn't just reach for the stars. He made sure the next generation could touch them. Follow for more because this journey is just beginning.